So Tesla is recalling nearly every single vehicle ever sold in the United States. Get this crap. Tesla recalls nearly all the vehicles sold in the U.S. to fix system that monitors drivers using autopilot. According to this, this is out of Detroit uh, Associated Press. Tesla is recalling nearly all vehicles sold in the U.S., more than 2 million, uh, to update software and fix a defective system that's supposed to ensure drivers are paying attention when using autopilot. Documents posted on Wednesday by U.S. safety regulators say the update will increase warnings and alerts drivers and even limit the areas where basic versions of auto autopilot can operate. The recall comes after a two-year investigation by the National Highway Traffic Safety Admi Administration into a series of crashes that happened while the autopilot partially automated uh, driving systems was in use. Some were deadly. I don't know if you guys remember hearing about that when there was a uh, uh, I don't remember exactly where it was or when it happened, but it was two couples, gen two gentlemen, two women that were in the car together. Uh, and then the guys dropped the women off, I think, and then still were in the car, but it was on autopilot and it literally slammed into a tree. I don't know how that happens. Um, thankfully the women weren't in there anymore. I don't remember if the gentleman died or anything like that, but I do remember hearing it and thinking to myself, who actually wants to ride around in a car on autopilot? You see videos of people literally sleeping in the driver's seat on the freeway while their car is driving. Your car might be on autopilot, but it will not have the same reflexes or notice the same things that you as a human will notice. It's not going to notice the car that's like two cars back or two cars up that randomly starts to like swerve all over the place. Your car is not going to take that into consideration, slow down or change lanes or whatever. It needs you for that. Auto automatic automated or automatic driving to me is just asking for trouble. It says here the agency says its investigation found autopilot's method of making sure that drivers are paying attention can be inadequate and can lead to foreseeable misuse of the system. Again, the people who decide that they want to take a nap on their ride to work, so they jump in their autopiloted Tesla and go to sleep. And then you see the cop car behind it trying to pull it over. And the, the Tesla doesn't know there's a cop behind it trying to pull it over, so it just keeps going. And the next thing you know, you're going to get, you know, rammed or T-boned or pit maneuvered off to the side because they think you're running. But really, you're just taking a sweet little nap while your Tesla takes you to work. There's a time and place for autopilot and it's not right now and it's not anywhere on our streets. And that's my thought on that. Like personally, I know we all want to be the Jetsons so bad. We want to be futuristic and flying cars and whatever else and robots named Rosie who can do everything for you. We're getting way too close to all of that for it to be comfortable for me personally. I think that we as humans still need to have some sort of control over what we're doing. Our vehicles, our cleaning, our whatever else you want to put out there. We need to have some sort of control. Everything is going towards robots. Everything is going towards AI. Now the cars that those commercials for like Buick and all these other ones where they're like, oh, I don't know how to parallel park. I'd never learned. I'll just let my car do it for me. Maybe you should just learn how to parallel park. Is it cool that your car can do it? Sure. But if your car F's up and hits something, you're still in trouble. If you had had your hands on the wheel, maybe there's less chance that would happen. If your car is doing an auto park and you're not paying attention and some kid runs out into the road to chase their soccer ball, basketball, football, whatever ball, and your car hits it, that's still on you because you're not paying attention because you're letting it do its own thing and you're diddling around on your phone or whatever else. It's a horrible idea. Now, plus... You had the government decide that they will make sure, well, how, did, how did this go? I'm trying to remember the phrasing here. Um, you know, we talked about how uh, Volvo is going to make it so that they have like the speed limiter, like you, it, you can't go past a certain speed and it can turn your car off if it does and all this other stuff. Well, the government has decided that having the ability to literally shut off your car at any point in time is legal. They've passed that. That is a thing now, which is why there's such a huge push for electric vehicles because they want to have full control over everything you do. If you have a vehicle that can be stopped by the push of a button by anybody and their mama, that is not a good thing in my personal opinion. And yet here we are just going along with it going, oh no, EVs are great for the environment. No, the hell they're not. Do you know how much work it takes to get the lithium and do all these other things? What are you going to do with that battery when it craps itself? What are you going to do when you have to replace it? And it's 25 grand just to replace the battery. What are you going to do when you need to get your car worked on? 
And there's not many people who know how to work on them because most people work on diesel powered, gas powered cars, right? There's so many things that are going on right now and this massive push to go towards electric everything and automated everything that it's, it's kind of concerning in my opinion because it's, it, I feel like the people making these decisions really need to watch some of those movies where everything kind of went to shit real quick because they gave too much power to automation and to robots and to AI and took it away from the people themselves. And and that's where we're headed. We're headed to where we have to answer to a robot for every single thing we do. We can't, our car won't start if it's not feeling like starting, like if it doesn't want to start. It won't drive us where we want to go if, if our car is having a bad day. Because at some point, AI is going to be, oh, what's that word? I can't think of the word. Where it, it feels like sentient. Is that right? Sentient being? Is that the right word? I don't know if that's the right word. But either way, I don't like it. That's me personally. Y'all can like whatever you want. Me personally, I'm not a fan of everything that's going on with the push for AI, the push for robots, the push for EV, the push for everything electric in your home. The grids cannot handle that. But the fact that literally 2 million Teslas are being recalled because they know that these things are bad, even if they go in and fix it, who's to say that it's not going to short circuit or have some sort of issue? Or what if the new update, what if the new, y'all, what if the new update, conspiracy brain here, what if the new update is to make it so that they have full control over your car? So they do have that kill switch ability because older Teslas would not have that kill switch ability as newer EV, EV vehicles. That sounds stupid. Electric vehicles would have. Mm, 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 mm. Look at that. If Priuses, Pri is a is Priuses a, the plural of Prius? I don't know. If those get recalled next and then your Chevy Volts and everything else, if all of those get recalled to come back in for some sort of little chip upgrade, mm, they're putting the kill switches in your cars. Mm -hmm. Bet money. Bet money. No proof. Just my thought. Just my thought. Just so we know. Bet money though. Listen, random, short, just want to tell you guys exactly what's happening with Tesla. If you have a Tesla, uh, you might want to either just not use autopilot because it sounds like a horrible idea and keep your car with you and don't let them tinker with it or take it in and then um, let me know what happens. Like if it's just one day you're driving and it just automatically shuts off, I'm very curious to know exactly how that happens. So y'all just uh, have a good day. Squirrel Tribe, thank you for letting me run my mouth on this one and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye. Uh, can't turn it off.